You have a strange look on your face. Well. In theory, you should be alive. Well, that's the theory. I'm not so sure about the theory. I'm not showing up. Da, 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 da. Am I on here? Hello? Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? <gasps> there I am. Oh, look at me. Radiance. Beauty. Oh dear, we can't see my decorations very well, can we? Oh well. Okay, hello Bumblebee and Denise. Dance. Yay, hello everyone. Give me thumbs up and likes and shares. Okay, so you know how Mike's been sick. So take a look. We've got another one down. Yep, another Oops. one down. Hold on, I gotta zoom in here. Oh boy. We're There's hoping. There's our tech guy. There's our tech guy. <laughs> so you can see the direction the show is going today. Uh, can you turn back around? Our tech guy is out for the count. Amy T, we were just wondering where you were. Thank you for coming back. You gotta send us your email, so if you ever get lost, we can email you. I am making homemade French bread today. Yes, Carrie, we will put the recipe in the description below. Mike's coming back around here. I just got to realizing, how am I gonna do both this and that with this? <laughs> um, do we have anything to put in there? No, but I mean, redoing the shot. Oh, Remind me to redo okay. the shot. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting Wait, what so. am I doing? Um, oh, you smell good. Oh. Just for you. Thank you. Um, we got lots of late happy anniversaries. Happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary. Um. <laughs> <coughs> See, that brings on the cough. Okay. Okay, homemade French bread. So, Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 72. Wait, what am I? Dining on a Dime. Mike will put a link in the description below if he can find it. And he can't find it. Oops. I don't Let think it got emailed it. to me. I'll go right here and send it. Okay, so just one second. While Mike tries to find, um, oh wait, whoops, Actually, nope, it's not here. No, I, I realized it. Mike didn't get it sent. Okay. Thank you everybody for the late anniversaries. Yay, Joanne got her cookbook. I'm so happy. Thank you for telling everyone. We appreciate it. Turret says, hashtag hope David feels better soon. Yes, poor Dave. He's... Feeling pretty bad. So, Mike's getting the um, links sent over just a second. We, ha we have been going and going today, so I have it too. And today we shot six videos before the show. Just in case Tar doesn't make it. Just in case if I come down as bad as him, then I won't, then we'll have shows for YouTube. In a little bit. So, oh, you got it already? Well, I'm fast. You are fast. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going and I get it done. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so, we are going to take and get some super hot water. My water cooled down. You got it before I even sent it to you. How's that? I know. Hello, okay. everyone. <clears throat> a little bit of weirdness still. <laughs> So you want your water to be super warm. Ooh, this That's is That's still a not warm enough. Nummy French bread, yeah? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so I just get it out of the tap. And you want it about 110 degrees. Okay, if you put your finger in, it should be really warm but not so hot that you can't keep your finger in, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry, I wasn't not prepared. Okay, then you're gonna put your yeast in. You just in. made this, what are you talking about? <laughs> I know, but I had to redo it. I've only made this recipe three times today. This is my third time. <laughs> because when you're doing a live show, you can't show all the steps on the yeast bread, so. Okay, so, <laughs> why don't you pull the camera down? Here, no, Oh, right, 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 sorry. Hold on, guys. For a few minutes? No, if you don't want to just come down. Okay. So I want you guys to see this. 
get all nice and activated. You might tip it a little more. Okay, so I'm I'm mixing in all of my yeast, getting it all dissolved. Can they see what's happening? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, breaking up all the little lumps. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna let that sit for just a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sugar. Um, I don't know. I don't know that sugar actually helps yeast activate or not. I don't know, but anyway. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for just a minute while it's activating, okay? But I'm doing the long version for you guys because I want you to see how this works. And um, it's pretty cool actually when it starts activating. Now some people are gonna say, well, this isn't a quick and easy recipe. Well, it actually only takes like 10 minutes to make. And on page 72, it's on page 72 in Dining on a Dime, page 72. And um, I can't remember who gave me this idea Friday, but somebody said they made it and they just loved it and it's the best bread ever. And I thought, I'm gonna make that the, today. The French bread? Yes. It's delish. Um, and uh, it only really takes about 10 minutes to make the whole thing. I do not need it for the whole 10 minutes it says I can. I have fibromyalgia, my hands hurt. I just don't have the strength to do it. So, um, yeah, so I just don't. But, um, we match twinsies. I love it. <laughs> actually, we do that on purpose so that we don't look like dorks. Because if he has a neon green shirt and I have on a black or a purple, it just would not work. Well, black would work, but it just wouldn't work. We try to work, honey, don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, where did I get my thermometer? Oh, Donna says, make a cheeseburger roll, wave a slice under David's nose, and see if he'll perk up. I, think, I don't think he'll perk up for that one. Um, where did I get my thermometer? This is a digital thermometer. This is probably one of the handiest Still kitchen here? tools. Yes, one of the handiest kitchen tools I have ever used, ever. And I use it for my soap, but I use it for cooking too. And um, you just point, so look, you can see, you just point and shoot and it tells you the temperature. So like right now it's 94, okay? <laughs> so, I love that digital thermometer. Mike is um, putting the link in there to where you can get it on Amazon. It is, it, oh man, it is an affiliate link, so we get a small commission. It says our recommended links on Amazon, so yeah. it's, it's just a list of things that we use a lot. Yeah, we get a them. small commission, which helps us bring the show to you. This is our full-time income, um, but it's at no extra charge to you, so... Don't worry um, that you're gonna be got. Just for Trish, any snow yet? We had snow what, last week? It's, I think it's trees, just for trees. Um, we had snow a couple weeks ago, yeah. What's the matter? Um, yeah, so probably eight or 10 days ago. So, okay, so we need the cameraman again. Oh, okay, yay, whoa. Emery, she wants to know if you're taking the colostrum so you don't get sick. I am, but I think I'm still getting it anyway. Although, we've noticed that when we take it, we don't get it quite as long. But, yeah. Okay, so look down in there while I wash my hands because I touched my nose and I don't want all those people yelling at me. Um, can you guys see how it's starting to... There we go. <laughs> see how it's starting to poof up? Can they see that? think so. See how it's starting to poof up? And that means that the yeast is being activated and it'll just start poofing and poofing and poofing and then it'll just get more. Okay, so leave it down there. All right, so now we're going to add in our olive oil. Okay, and then what our salt. <laughs> That is what we're gonna show everybody. So turn the camera around real quick. Over here? Yeah. Oh. Wait till you guys see what we have. I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute. There you go. Okay, come back. Don't tell them what it is. Oh, sorry. Okay, come back down. I got my so salt and my oil in here. I yeah. Can, I can see about half of what's in there. Okay. 
you want us to see more left? There you go. So I'm going to put in two cups of flour and get this <coughs> mixed up into a soft dough. Okay. I know. <laughs> this is the third time I've made this today. <laughs> okay, so I got it mixed in. Then I'm going to knead in my last cup and a half of flour. And I just knead in the bowl. I do not do it on the counter. Why waste space and get it all dirty when you don't need to for a step? Okay, so then just start kneading in that flour. And when it's sticky and you don't have any flour left over, you need to just add a little bit more. Once it starts getting stiff, then just keep kneading until it's nice and smooth. Okay. So just keep going and keep going. Just go like this. This is how you need. Pull it over, push it down. 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 Okay? Now, ugh, I really don't need that long. The recipe says 10 minutes, like I said, but I just do it until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So then I take cooking spray and just lightly spray the top. Woo! And then let it rise. You can go and do me. Let it, <laughs> let it rise until it's doubled and poofed up. All right, dear. <laughs> oh, Michael's got a dirty mind. Okay. So, <laughs> so then when it's double and poofed up, this is what it looks like. Okay. So come back down. So then what you're going to do is you're going to smash it down just like that. Earthquake. Sorry. And you're going to let it rest 15 minutes. But because we are live and because I don't want everybody waiting. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Because I don't want everybody to wait so long. I'm just going to go ahead and do the next step. So, um, Sprinkle your board with a little bit of flour. Divide your dough in half. <clears throat> Get it nice and curled under. Okay. And then start rolling. It's a little too much flour. Then start rolling until you get about a 15 inch log. Okay. And even the bread can't rest. <laughs> okay. Get it, just keep going until you get nice and even. I don't know, is that 15 inches? Probably could go a little bit longer, but. Okay, so then you're gonna put it on your um, baking tray, baking sheet. And normally I spread cornmeal on there, but I forgot to get the cornmeal. I'm not about to walk over there again. So we're just gonna go without it and put it on the silt pad today. Um, okay, and just get it rolled out, nice and party, a nice little log, okay? All right, so let me clean up this real quick here, so that, where'd it go? Ah, oh, where'd my scraper go? I lost my scraper. There it is. This is also on our Amazon. See how, isn't that lovely? Then I just put it in my hand and throw it away. Okay. Now. Then you're going to put it over here. And I lost my knife. Okay. Then you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut some slits. You can do five, six, seven, eight, however many you want. Whoops, I do usually about five or six. Okay, then you're gonna take milk 
that has your egg beaten in it. Okay, it's already been beaten in here. And I wasn't gonna make up another batch since I've already made this once. And just spread the milk and egg mixture on your French bread, okay? Looking lovely, looking lovely. I'm gonna share the recipe again. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at the comments quite as much at this moment because we're one tech person down. So we are making this a $5 dinner and how are we doing that? I made homemade French bread, probably cost me not even a quarter. And then we made roast sticky chicken and a coleslaw. So let me show you what comes next. So then you're gonna let this rise until it's doubled about an hour. And then, again, my oven set at 375. Um, then you're gonna have what looks like this batch, batch of loveliness. What do you think, dear? Does it look yummy? Oh, it's super delicious. Okay. Is that all baked already? This is not baked yet. Oh, it's not baked? No, we're gonna put it in and bake it now. Oh my. Okay, so I'm taking out tonight's roast sticky chicken for dinner. And I'm putting in the French bread. And then we're gonna let it bake for 25 minutes until the loaves are golden brown and sound hollow. Not that bad, huh? Took me what, 15 minutes and that was with letting the yeast rise. I mean, it's been 15 minutes, but really I was probably only cooking for like 10. So I thought that was pretty good myself. So anyway, that's how you make it. We'll get it out of the oven in just a little bit. And if you want to come back over, dear. All right. So I got to show you guys something. Oh, do you? Do I need to get the yeah. camera then for that? Look at this. Don't hold it over the food. Look at this. Can uh, you guys see that? Can they see it? See them tumbling down. See, normally, so one time, does anybody know what this is? I'm showing this yeah. for, for all of our viewers in other cities. countries who don't have these things you know we should buy a big box and 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 sell this on ebay i heard they were selling them on ebay <laughs> this is a tumbleweed and i have a funny story when my great grandparents when we lived in springfield if you've seen the penny pinch and mama series my great grandparents didn't have a christmas tree and i felt really bad for them and of course there's no trees out there i mean southeastern colorado is just desert and um I got a tumbleweed and I painted it and I painted it green and I did all kinds of decorations for them and I put it in a bucket of sand and they loved it. <laughs> so that's a tumbleweed guys. Just thought I'd show you. Hmm. And yes, I'm going to make lip balm here in just a minute. Oh, but Sharon's asking do I win? She must have guessed. She, oh, Aunt, what? Aunt Oreo, what is that? That is a tumbleweed. Isn't that cool? Oh, it does wants to know what page the sticky chicken is on. Um, the roast sticky <coughs> chicken is on page, uh, 207 in Dining on a Dime. Page 207, and here's what it looks like for you guys. So we're going to have roast sticky chicken. Doesn't that look luscious? Mm. Roast sticky chicken with coleslaw and carrots and cucumbers and homemade french bread that is our dinner for less than five dollars less than five dollars pretty good deal don't you think yep. so we got a package today uh oh do you want to there we had a couple questions I, I'm okay yeah let's do questions first of all uh where do i find the recipe louise let me give you that recipe and what page is it on in the book also on page 72 in dining on a night so i'm sharing the recipe in the comments and if you're on youtube it's also in the description um and also let's see i'll share the link for if you um we also have if you don't have the book, it's in there with a lot of other awesome recipes. And I'll share that too because we have a special deal through tonight. Oh yeah, don't forget. Tonight, today is the last day of our Dining on a Dime sale. So it's free shipping and a free menus on a dime ebook. So get it today. 
Um, we may, if you order it today, I think we have run out of shipping envelopes, so we probably won't be able to ship it until Monday. I'm really sorry. I did not expect this sale to be as popular as it was. Um, Jennifer asked if that was a Silpat you're using. That is a Silpat, and I think we have it on our Amazon store if you want to see it. Yeah, let me throw that in there. Yeah. So Michael put the link in there for you. So that's the recommended items at Amazon. That's where the... Yeah. We think the Silpat's in there and the yeah. heat... The heat um, what is it? The thermometer? Laser thermometer? Yeah. Stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So... <laughs> a lot of people loving the new... Like the other bread. Okay, so somebody asked, um, Donna asked, how long does it take to double? About an hour. So I don't count doubling time and cooking time. I only count prep time because I'm doing other stuff when I make bread. So it really only takes me like five to 10 minutes to make these up. It's hardly any time at all. So people think, oh, yeast breads take so long and all that. They really don't. Um, as far as hands-on time, it really doesn't take that long, so. <laughs> uh, M. Brown says, if we order things not on the recommended items using that link, do you still get a commission? Yes. yes. If you if you order it within 24 hours, we'll yeah. there. Yeah, so if you want to bookmark that, and every time you go to Amazon and order something, we would love it. <laughs> <laughs> it would help us out a lot. Um, you know, we don't get a ton, but it's enough that if everybody orders through our Amazon link, it really helps us. So, yeah. Ooh, lots of people excited about the books arriving at their places. Um, Judy said, arrived on Saturday. My kids hid it from me until my birthday. Yay! Um, Tita says, in my country, never in the world would you have a dinner with chicken, vegetables, and French bread for under $5. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is America, so I know in Australia and England and every other country that has expensive food. I totally understand that. But it should be but less than. Here, in a, yeah, but it's still a cheap dinner. You know, the point is it's still a cheap dinner. So. So Tracy in the UK is asking tumbleweed, does that mean it tumbles? Yes. So what those do is this time of year, <clears throat> they dry off and they break off the ground. And then when the wind blows, they just roll along. And this one, we live in a, in a suburban neighborhood. So we have houses all around us and this one landed in our yard somehow. I don't know how, but it did. Well, we have a spot where they get stuck mm -hmm. when they blow through. And Brown is asking if you could do a video on the hash recipe. That uh, would be awesome. Actually, there is one on YouTube. I made it one last oh, year. Did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't remember uh -huh. that. Yeah. And Danielle was asking, is it possible to make this gluten-free or no? Not really. Not to have it turn out the same. It's hard to get the texture yeah. on gluten-free gluten stuff. Gluten makes the texture and it really <laughs> is yeah. Nasty, so. nasty tumbleweed. Just for trees says, oh wow, I just noticed Tara's pretty autumn apron. Thank you. I got this in from Amy in Australia last year. She sent it to us, sent me this for Christmas, which I thought was so nice. Yeah. So, okay. So we're going to open up. We got a package. I got it open. Should we? Ooh. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, yay. I wonder if they're tired of me not finishing. Singing in the rain, because I only know like one verse. <laughs> well, who is it? Let's see. Oh, how fun. We love old movies. We do. We, we love them. I would like to start an old movie collection, really, because there's nothing on. And I'd love to start an old movie collection. Hi, Mike and Tara. Happy anniversary. I was once asked if you'd seen Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and I think you said no. Here you go with more movies, too. Enjoy your gift from Susan G. Oh, ah, thank you, Susan. Susan, thank you. That's <laughs> Bandana Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Susie, you are so sweet. I don't see her on here, but I'm... Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. So we'll have to watch that. So our other show ended, so we'll watch this tonight, okay? Okay. Uh, we I think have I'm similar catching up taste, on the comments I here. I think we have similar taste. What do you think? Yes, we do. We have very similar taste. Did you get caught up on the comments? It's... Yeah, Coco Noel said uh, at the beginning, <laughs> Radiance, Beauty, Talent, Thumbs, Likes, Shares. <laughs> so does anybody know what this thing is? Look and see. Today is discover what Colorado has. Can you guys see that? Do you know what that is? You know what it is, right? Is that the thing that's real popular around here? Yeah. Yeah. You guys see what that is? That is <coughs> a sugar beet. And they grow them mm. here in the fields. They're really popular here. But what I'm wondering, a sugar beet truck dumped a whole 
bunch of them all over the side of the road. So you're wanting to grind them up There were seed? piles and piles and piles of them. So I was Ooh. wondering, how do you get the sugar out of these? Does anybody know? Do you just boil it down? I tried cutting it a couple of years ago and I couldn't even get a knife through it. It was pretty hard. Yeah, if anyone knows how to get the sugar out of them, we'd so be So tell me how you get the sugar out of them. That's what I want to know. So, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to make lip balm here. Ooh, yeah, somebody guessed the rutabaga. Definitely watch Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. That's a great movie. Oh, Susie, you're nice. so sweet. Thank you. Uh, now we'll have something to watch for the next few days. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Wait, actually, I was thinking that, what is it? Is that from uh, The Princess Bride? Boo, oh, boo, yeah, boo. probably. <laughs> <laughs> so these aren't lip balms. These are my little mini, um, my little mini lotion sticks that for the purse size. Oh, Jean is asking, can you do the chicken recipe with turkey? Yes, you can do roast sticky tur turkey and you can do roast sticky chicken parts. So like if you don't want to do a whole chicken, you could do thighs, drumsticks or whatever. You just don't bake it as long and it says that in the directions, in the book and on the website. Oh, Shirley's asking so, how much is the book? The book is $21.95 and if you order today, it's free shipping and we, you, we send you our free menus on a dime ebook which is um it's menu neat. ideas using the recipes from dining on a dime so we have in here a few menus and everybody loved the menus so much let's see where'd they go menus where are you oh there was another one that just went off the screen um where'd the menus go oh here they are so on page 12 we have and 13 we have menu ideas using the recipes in this book and they're simple things like cheese enchiladas sopapillas refried greens tortilla chips Ham and potatoes, minty peas and onions, mom's sweet muffins, sliced ham, scrambled eggs, fried potatoes, orange juice, chicken sandwich with tater tots and cantaloupe slices. So these are all normal foods that everybody has. And um, they are almost, I would say probably every one of them is $5 or less. Now, how do we do that? So like our roast sticky chicken, I'm only counting the amount of meat that I use today because I'll get three or four meals out of that one chicken. So today we'll have roast chicken and then tomorrow we'll have like chicken tacos and then the next day we'll have chicken um, and dumplings and then the next day after that we'll have chicken soup or something. So, um, you know, I spread it out over several meals and so that chicken that I paid $7 for only costs me like a dollar, dollar fifty per meal. So it's really a good deal. Hmm. Tracy in the UK says sugar beets processed into sugar in the UK as we grow it cheaper than cane sugar. Yeah, here too, but I don't know how you process it. I'm just curious. I'd like to try and cook it myself and see. So oh. if you guys want to buy these lotion bars, these little lotion, mini lotion sticks, I have them on my Etsy store now. And you'll see they're made fresh hot off the presses right here today. And if you want the recipe for them, I also have the recipe in Dining on a Dime on page, let's see, where'd it go? Right, is that, nope. Do we, uh, do we have the recipe on the site somewhere? I can't remember. I think we do. On page 432, Dining on a Dime cookbook, for right there, mixing, is it? the lotion bars. Uh, and, two Family Homestead yeah. is saying they're thinking about getting a copy of the book to give away for their 2,000 subscribers. Ooh, well, holler. I'll send you one. Send me an email so I don't forget. Um, okay. So. Whoa, I'm a little behind here still. Oh, do I need to tilt down the camera? Oh, yeah, you probably, well, yeah, you probably should. Christy, Christy says, my granddaughter and I jump in rain fell singing or... And play singing in the rain. <laughs> ah, well, I can't wait. So she got a singing in the rain, the music man, seven brides for seven brothers, Yankee Doodle, and Elvis Viva La Las Vegas. That could be cool. We love old Viva movies. Las Vegas. Yeah, we could go on an Elvis thing. I, every now and then we find somebody we haven't really paid attention to before, and then because then we watch several Marilyn Monroe movies at one yeah, point. Yeah, and Car Cary Grant, and we always watch Cary Grant and Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy and, Stewart. We'll go through stages okay you're on here yep okay so then this is 
a steady hand, but I just go through and fill each one up just like this. Now I will tell you guys, I don't think I'm going to restock after I sell this batch of about, I don't know, there's probably 20 here. Because, um, so if you want the little mini lotion sticks, uh, then, whoa, oops, then grab them. Because if we decide to move, I'm trying to get my soap supplies and stuff down to a minimum. And I probably won't reorder until we move. Who knows when that's going to be though. I don't know when. We aren't finding any houses that are, hmm. well, oops, oh dear. We aren't, um, we just haven't found the perfect house. I don't know, I think we should build, but I think we would kill each other if we built, don't you, dear? Well, we already tried that, right? I think building would cost us more in divorce court, and I'd prefer not to do that. Don't you think? And then who would get the house? That's the question. Yeah. Oh, like uh, Money Matters. Or have you guys ever seen Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House? Ooh, that is awesome. We need to watch that one again too. So, okay, dear, you can come back to me. Uh, come sorry. back to me. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I probably could do this. I want to make sure I didn't cut off my head. Oh. That wouldn't be good, would it? Well, <laughs> I no. Meant, I meant figuratively speaking on the camera. <laughs> vintage binge movie or vintage movie binge at Killam's house just for trees. Yeah, there you yes. go. Actually, we do that a lot with 40s and 50s movies. Yeah, we'll go through stages where we'll. Especially around Christmas, we watch a lot of them. Yeah. Yep, we do. Okay, let's see. I've... All right, what other questions? Uh, the, the comments have been going by pretty quick, so if we don't, if you ask a specific question and we. Um, if, if you ask a question that maybe we should answer and we haven't, we may not have seen it. So what? Oh, Jill says when I tried to order the cookbook on Amazon, they wanted to charge me $45. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing on Amazon is. Those one, aren't our books, guys. Those are people who have bought used books at thrift stores and stuff and are selling them. We don't get anything <coughs> from the books if you buy them at Amazon. So and that's <coughs> fine. If it's cheaper, go for it. But those aren't our books. That's not us selling them. So just so you know. You're getting lots of likes and loves here, doll. I am? Yep. Oh, how nice. Uh, one thing is one person one person selling on Amazon one time listed it really high. And all these other people have software that chases the price. And so because they listed it really high, a whole bunch of them ended up going for like $600. $900 was yeah. one of them. They were trying to, the softwares were trying to outdo each other. It was crazy. So did anybody ever say how you how to get the sugar out of the sugar beet? Uh, I didn't see it yet, but I'm still looking. Michelle says, I just don't know how you feed your family on like a third of a chicken. We're a family of four, and even with starch, veggie, and bread, we eat the entire chicken. Do you have teenage boys? Maybe you need to just cut back on your servings. Um, you don't have to serve. I mean, that's... That was probably a what? Let's see, that would have been an eight pound chicken. That's a lot. That's like a pound. That's like three quarters of a pound of meat that per person. That was a person. big chicken though, yeah. That's like three quarters of a pound of meat per person. So you're only supposed to have three to four ounces of meat per serving per day. Penny, she hello. Says, she says, gotta go getting off the plane. Dinner with my kids tonight, but oh. we didn't tell her happy birthday. Okay, here we go. Are you still in there? Where'd it go? Oh no, we lost it. Okay, hey, here. Had a no, too. we'll adapt and overcome. Okay, Except, you ready? One, two, three. Except who's gonna sing? Oh my! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy! Happy oops. Birthday. Here, woman, you need to. Birthday, get dear Penny. Happy birthday. Hold on. To you. Now we do one for Fay Frutos too. Hey, Frutas was, um, she said her birthday was on Friday. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. That's, Real quick. That smells good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear. dear. Who was it? Hey, Frutas. I don't know how we, I Happy birthday to you. you. <laughs> I think. Poor I think Penny. We, she got shirked. Penny, I'm there's sorry. a present coming to you. Sorry for the singing, but. 
Only okay. Tara is on today. So Penny has a present coming to her mailbox, and I'd like <coughs> to see her reaction when she opens it. Have your daughter yeah. film your reaction when you open it, Penny. Oh, yes. Joanne says, love the cookbook, reading it page by page, and really enjoying it. Well, thank you. Uh, wow, lots of people are really excited because they've just gotten the book. Woohoo! Uh, I just guess the mail must have delivered a whole bunch of them today. Okay, so it's almost done. So, um... Let's see, it's been 20... 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, probably two or three more minutes and I'll show In it to what? you guys until the so, French bread is done. Bonnie, Bonnie's asking what state are we looking for a house in? We're, well, no. I don't know. We're in we're in Colorado and the prices are just crazy here. So we're trying to find someplace cheaper and we had thought about going to Wisconsin, but we're just, we're I'm not, not sure. sure. I don't know. We don't know if we're gonna like the summers. We don't know if we're gonna like the winters. We don't know if we're gonna like the bugs. And Jack keeps telling us he wants to stay at the same school. <laughs> so, ooh, Please. Denise says Money Pit. Oh, um, we love that movie. My parents spent 20 years remodeling our house and that was us. If you like Money Pit, you should see Mr. Blending's Builds His Dream Home. It's, yeah. It's, I think, the kind of inspiration for yeah. Money Pit. Tony says you need to get Cary Grant movie arsenic and old lace it's so funny have you do you do i don't you know if i've seen it see when i was in drama in high school it was my very first show oh really and i was officer o'hara and um it it was so much fun yeah and that's a good movie three coins in a fountain denise we i saw think that. we saw that didn't we yeah i, can't I think remember. it was good it was really good, but it's been a while since we've seen it. Um, Charlotte, you need to go through our website, livingonadime.com, and click on the store to order it to get the free shipping and the free menus ebook. It's I'm a sharing, download. And I'm sharing the link in the comments again. Yeah. But if you don't see the link, you can just go to livingonadime.com, and like on the upper right, it says something about the sale. Click here to get it or something. Um, Kathy says, I admire people who know how to make bread. The yeast does not like me. Uh, yeah, um, Coco Noel, let's see, did Jonathan Joseph, um, yes, I think, was it the Michigan ones, is that the ones you sent me? I did, but Michigan is too far. We really need to stay Wisconsin West, I think. After going to Pennsylvania and all that, I realized, you know, that's just going to be too far from my brother and my mom and everything, and the and BJ and Ellie to drive out, if for, they stay here. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, the long, long trailer. Yeah. yeah, we saw the long, long trailer. Yeah. Is that, was that Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball? Or is that yeah. somebody else? Yeah, it was. Oh, wait, Jamie says how to add just enough water to cover the beets. Heat. So we're talking about um, cooking a sugar beet. Ah, where'd it go? Oh. Heat to a boil, then simmer long enough for the beets to become tender and soft. Remove from heat and strain the beet pulp out of the juice using a cheesecloth. Hold the cheesecloth full of pulp over the pot and squeeze as much water out as possible. Hmm. Well, it seems like an awful lot of work. Okay, well, we might try that and see. I assume you have to clean the dirt off first. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just oh, says hello oh, from oh. Iowa. Okay, okay, the moment has arrived. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Hello in Iowa. Okay, it's oh. a moment. Here we are. Drum roll. We need drum roll. Drum roll. That looks so oh, delicious. Da, 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 da. Oh, I want some. Please. Can that you, looks delicious. Can you see it? Semi-resurrected day. The new pot holders. I are didn't have to come over here. Not good. Hold on. Ah. That is not a good new pot holder. Okay. Now let's try it again. One more time. La, 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 la. Oh, looking amazing. Does it Can look delicious? Delish? Amazing. Okay. Can I have some? Looks delicious. Cool. Just a second Can here. I... Oh, Jennifer okay. said I got your Not Just Beans book on eBay. That's a oh, classic. Cool. There you go. Um, somebody asked. Oh, oops. Here, Deborah shared a link to how to make sugar at home. At survivopedia.com. Okay, well, I have to check that out. Okay, that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, that looks delicious. And it's super it's hot, burning steamy. my hands. Okay, get you a plate, Jack. Catherine is asking, do you have the Christmas soaps on Etsy yet? Yes, but they won't ship for another about two and a half weeks. And Kat is asking, so, how do I order the book? I'm going to share the link again in the comments. Uh, 
It's free shipping and you get a free book if you order it before midnight. Uh, yes. Mountain time. Actually, the secret on that is Mike's not going to get up at midnight to take it off. <laughs> so I'll probably go a little longer. But so if you go there and it's still available, that's because Mike didn't take it off yet. So if it's still there tomorrow morning when you wake up, if you're watching this later, then Mike forgot to take it off or hasn't gotten up yet to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine wants to know how can you so, get that so much done in a day? Oh, brother. Well, I don't very well. well. I don't. She was a little worried she was going to get sick like me, and so she... We shot the videos today, so I'd have a voice still in case... Yeah, she planned a bunch of stuff to cover for that. We're out of videos for, um... What do you say? We, we're out of videos for our YouTube channel. It's your no eating day. I know, but I still get a snack. You still get a snack. Okay, hold on. Let me let me rip a piece off for Dad. Then I'll fix you another piece, okay? Ah. Oh, you didn't have to take a piece off of his. That's okay. I'll get oh. him another piece. Oh, Tracy's asking, have you seen the Italian Job, a UK film? No. Um, I wonder if that's... Is it delicious? Can I have butter on it? You can. Mm. Except good luck finding the butter. Man, that's good. Did I do good? Mm-hmm. Your wife's a good cook? That's really good. Wait till tomorrow when I can eat even more. Oh, two family. We're going back to Layman's on November 3rd. Oh, you're doing a meetup. Oh, man. All these people are doing meetups that we can't go because we live on the wrong side of the Mississippi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. On the Italian job, I'm not sure. We'll have to check it out and see. You actually remember when we saw The Sting? Mm -hmm. And there's another similar movie. That I was, I'm not sure if that's the Italian job or not. Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Peyton Place and the Trouble with Harry. I don't think we've seen Peyton Place and the Trouble with Harry is the... It's the Alfred Hitchcock one that's a comedy where everybody thinks they killed the guy. Oh, really? Like, we everybody watch thinks that. they killed the guy. Oh, that would be fun to watch. Hold on just a second. Uh, I got my cookbooks from you. Did not expect to. Oh, you're welcome, wonderful, blessed life. And if you want to do an affiliate, we have an affiliate program, which... Is <clears throat> email me and I can tell you about it. Um, oh, Rebel Rose Gunny is so, back. Good to see you on again. Hello. No uh, to, the to the knife. Okay, Mike will find it real quick here. It's, it's okay. Just, I know. Just, <laughs> we're in the middle of the show. No fighting. <laughs> Whoa. At least he's paying attention to what Mom's going to tell him. Wait, I'm back in they're my zone. They're policing each other. It's funny when you have okay. a whole... serrated bread knife. When you have a whole... Um... Oops, bread knife. So Deep South Homestead is having a get-together this weekend, and then on BJ's birthday, Ooh. they're having Which one? another... That one's fine. That one, that one looks really good. Another one in... Uh, Doug and Stacy and uh... two family are going to Layman's. That's just... Ugh. Okay, the knife has Oops. been added to our list, guys. Do I need to set a separate yeah. link or just... No, just... Just send the... Yeah. Um, so it should be on our recommended items. Let me just check to make sure it actually is. We just added the knife. I forgot who asked about it. Does it look yummy? Mm-hmm. Um, Here, do it this way. Watch. Right. Okay. I forgot who asked, but we just added that serrated <laughs> knife to our recommended items at Amazon. And I'm going to share that in the comments now. And if you're on YouTube, oh, it's man. also in the description below. Is there below. any way to get all these movie recommendations? <coughs> I'm trying to copy them as I see them. Shoot. But, um, let's see. Uh, Double Master Sweets for Visitors. Wait, what? Is what? that I have no a bad idea. place for us? Or maybe they're talking about this could know. be another conversation. Oh, maybe she's meaning if we buy a house. I don't know. That would be oh, cool. Oh, yeah. We saw that for Mom. All right. Yeah. Um, so is it still delish? Did mom do a good job? Mm-hmm. Why don't you let you know that my grandson's back issue is because he grew two and a half inches in two months. Whoa, Holy Joy Marie. Holy cow. Well, that's good, I guess. I'm going to kind of try to copy all these comments in case we miss any movie recommendations. Uh, but I'm looking to see what I still missed. Wow. So Jack takes the little lotion sticks to school uh, and uses these, don't you? And you mm -hmm. love them, huh? I did not see what your question They're was, Joanne. Favorite. Oh, Sheila also shared about how to get the sugar beets to do something. Um, love you two matching today. Beautiful bread. 
Uh. Is what? Oh. No. Ramona wants to you know if that's the guy. same. You crazy guy. Are you being a prankster gangster? What? Ramona was asking if that's the same bread recipe as two family. Oh. I have, no, I have idea. no idea. Ours, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I um, did not see theirs. Sorry, guys. Let's see. You just. Huh, Cindy, does anyone else read the cookbook? Enjoy reading your book. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The bread looks yummy. Um, yeah, we put the recipe in the book like 20 some odd years ago, so... Houseboat is another good one, Donna. Yes. Could you live in a houseboat? No, I'd get too seasick. I think it would be cool. You'd probably get your sea legs after we a We need while. to do something crazy to spice up our YouTube channel. <laughs> what could we do crazy? Our, our YouTube channel is not exciting enough, right, guys? What, what should we do? This By the way, though, we are almost to 60... go live bungee jumping. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> we are almost to 60,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and we're going to be giving away one of Mom's aprons. So if you're on the Facebook side or you're on YouTube, go to, go to YouTube, Facebook, go to Living on a Dime, and subscribe. And when we hit 60,000 subscribers, we're going to give away one of our aprons that mom made to our 60,000 subscribers Oops. to one of them so uh, i didn't know debbie reynolds was in unsinkable molly brown yes uh veronica from pueblo colorado says it's easier if you slice your french bread upside down oh i did not know interesting. that interesting we'll, have to well try hello that. fellow coloradoan <laughs> we should probably do another colorado meetup three mules for sister sarah <laughs> that's an huh. interesting name of a movie yeah, Maureen says anything with Cary Grant is a winner. We pretty much like yeah, all of his like movies. Um, let's see. Yep. Uh, that just made my day. Now we know you're a real family, Michelle said. I wonder which thing. Probably I have no having idea. to call out the voice. <laughs> Tara tried the Charlie's soap for laundry. It's fabulous. Clothes come out so clean and bright. Mm. Cleans the residue in the washer at the same time. I've never heard of Karen. it. Mm. Karen says the Thrive sells it too. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I think my yeast is old. Should I use more to get it to work? Well, you can, but you really should just buy new yeast. You can add more, but you really <coughs> should just buy. Yeast does go bad. So if it's not working, you need to buy more. So I just got this fairly recently, and this has a two-year shelf life. So um, it doesn't expire till 2019. So do you want more? Wait. <laughs> you can tell me you tear a piece off that one. Careful. Yep. Oh, and I fear to remember with Derry, uh, Carrie Grant and... I think we saw that one. Yeah. Oh, the one... Oh, that was depressing. I can't remember how Where she ends up in the wheelchair Wait, wait, no, and... don't, don't tell them. Maybe somebody wants to watch it. Okay. It was depressing. Sorry. Don't you want to know if a movie's going to be depressing or not? Tara likes Why? to read the last page in the book before she reads the book. If it's going to be depressing, I don't want to waste my time. I agree. So. Thank you. What would you guys do if we published a list of all of movies that all had good endings? <laughs> we had thought about doing a website that is only movies with happy endings. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we even bought the website name. <laughs> like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, Penny's asking if we've ever seen The Glass Bottom Boat with Cary Grant and Doris Day. I don't think we have, don't but think so. it's funny because we've seen a lot of Cary Grant, but we didn't we didn't see mm. any Doris Day until like the last year maybe, and yeah. we really like her. Oh, I will not watch The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, that is hor. Why would someone make a movie like that? See, I was gonna. Why? I almost had the kids watch why? it with me while you were gone. No, I do not yeah. want my children traumatized for the rest of their life. I miss The Wizard of Oz. There was something Ozzy about it. That was weird. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Sharon, does the yeast expiration date hold true once it's open? Yeah, um, I think it does. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Ramona? actually. Good question. Ramona says she keeps hers in the fridge. Yeah, and I do buy the big packets usually at Walmart. They're like this big. And I keep that in the freezer, and it'll last six or seven years in the freezer and bring it out. So Linda's asking how to find you on Etsy. Uh, I'll share that link. I have all my soaps on Etsy, but guys... I only have a few bars left of things. I am selling out of my Etsy store like crazy. Faster than you can make it. Yeah, I'm selling faster than I can make it. <coughs> and I sold like a hundred bars just over this weekend. So, um, 
or I mean this week, not just this weekend, but this last week. And so I'm not making it as fast as I'm selling it. So if there's something you want, I'm just telling you, don't wait because it may or may not be in there. So Coco Noel says, look for by the light of the silvery moon. Great Thanksgiving movie that's family friendly. Hmm. Love to check that out. We're always looking for family friendly. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, Thank you, Jamie, for looking up how to cook that sugar beet. I'm going to have to give it a try. By the way, we need to find out when Sue's coming. I think she's here this weekend. We need to go to the thrift store. Hey, Lori said, I just got my cookbook. Hi, Mike Yay! and Tara. Or Tara and Mike. Yes, two family. Bandana Grandma's the best. We love Susie over, over at Bandana and Grandma. <coughs> and they said, did you see the video where she did a shout out to my granddaughter from, to make her a personalized bandana? Oh, that was nice. Nice. Um, who's on tonight? It's Monday. Is two family on tonight? Two family, if you're on tonight, put your link in the description below. I think they're on at nine. I haven't been able to watch for a while because I've been so dead from the shows that. What do you Someone think? Someone was talking about an affair. <laughs> to remember, Roberta <laughs> says it's been watching. Fresh bread we buy. Oh, did you hear that, Dad? What? Tell them again. Tell them loud so they can hear it. It's better than the French bread that we buy. All right. <laughs> Mom's gonna compensate you for that. Me? <laughs> Mom's gonna compensate you. <laughs> Anne is asking if that's a Poly Studios oh. mug. I think she means that one. What is that? I have no idea. I don't think she means my Star Wars coffee mug with my cold coffee in it. This is Bum Bambleweed Pottery. I don't know who it is. I got it at the thrift store. Hmm. Um, this is chicken. Roast chicken. Oh, Stephanie says, Meet John Doe is another wonderful Frank Capper movie. Hmm. Somebody else is talking about um, Miracle on 34th Street. You know, I've liked Miracle on 34th Street, but not as much as some of the but other yeah, ones. Yeah, I don't like it as well. Well, and the older one is definitely better than the newer ones, though. It is. We are going to start watching Christmas movies. We're going to watch Bandana Grandma's. <clears throat> I have to say. It's time for Christmas movies. If, if you guys have any husbands on, tell them to look away because I'm going to admit that I, I actually like a chick flick. Okay, so I actually watched several of them with Tar, but there's, um, what was it? The Twelve Dates of Christmas. We love that one. The Twelve Dates of Christmas. It's a Hallmark movie, yeah. I think. It is an amazing. It's, it's really a good movie. It's one of our favorites. We watch it every year. Yeah. It's really, really good. It's one of our favorites, actually. <laughs> um, thank you to family for taking care of that troll there for us. Um, oh, Baker Mom swooned when you called me doll. Aww. <laughs> if I call you honey schnooky schnook... Well, that bombed. If I call you Honey Shooky Wookums, will that um, get a bunch of thumbs up, do you think? Sure. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Except. Okay. Sorry, I was looking to see. Maybe Jamie and I should go collect all those sugar beets and cook them down for, for ourselves and see how it goes. Um, I don't know if this one's been taken care of, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, let's see. Make the boys drink a lot of water before a meal. You know, people yeah. are, well, actually, a number of people were asking if we don't feed our kids enough because of the chicken. <laughs> no, what happens? Just, I mean, I, I say a number. Well, like no, guys, this was like, okay, so I paid $7 for it, and it was $1.49 a pound. So that's, what, a five-pound chicken? So that would be probably four pounds of meat, three and a half, four pounds of meat, probably. And you're supposed to have three ounces, which is the size of your palm, for one meal. So if you're eating a quarter of a chicken for each meal, that's like four or five times the amount of meat you're supposed to have for dinner. So serve it with some fruit and vegetables and then we add potatoes or we'll add bread, which is not gonna kill ya. Just don't eat so much. And teenage boys, yes, and I Brown, get it, so. I just answered your question in the comments. Uh, so if you just let us know when you order, that would be awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, actually, I was thinking about when you were talking about the food, not not saying that everybody here does this or anything, but I was at Taco Bell the other day. Oh. And I order my diet-friendly 400 calories total, which is two items that add up to 400 calories. And that's like two steak soft tacos. And I noticed you can get tacos and soft tacos, and they're in the realm of reasonable. 
in terms of calories and things. But I was think I was watching people order while I was waiting, and I was thinking, man. Tell them what I the mean, one it, lady ordered. I'm the same way. I have been the same way. But now that I'm thinking about it more, I realize as Americans, we just eat too much. It's not what we eat so much. It's it's the fact that we eat too much. This one lady walked up and she said, um, this is just for herself. I'd like to get a Mexican pizza and uh, what was it? A, um, it was a nacho but grande or something. No, no, there's, oh, what's that thing called? That's the double stuff, Crunchwrap is a Crunchwrap. Oh, wrap. yeah, that's right. And oh, then person. something else like that. And I looked and each one of those items was like 700 calories. Well, this one lady ordered all three of those for herself. And I was just thinking, you know. She ate a day and a half's worth of calories. like 2,100 calories meal. at once. But she wasn't the only one. Like pretty much everybody that went through there was ordering. And they were asking, you know, do you want the value meal with that? And I was looking and thinking, wow, this and this and this. That's a huge amount of calories. Then they order a large Coke to go with it. Well, the thing is that until I, until I was really paying attention more, I didn't realize. Yeah. Because I, um, last spring I got their, they have a stuffed burrito and I would just get the one thinking, oh, that's fine. Well, the stuffed burrito is like eight or 900 calories mm -hmm. too. Um, but the two, I'll get the two steaks off tacos and that's 400 total. Yeah. And they're really good. Um, I've been wrecking Christmas movies. What's your favorite? <laughs> Donna says. Oh, Deep South. I wish... We could come this weekend. I just was racking my brain trying to figure out how we could get there, but it's just not possible. Jack's on Friday. Jack's got a a zoo field trip, and I don't know. Maybe Jack would like a field trip to Mississippi instead. <laughs> you think he would? I think he would. You think we could convince him? He would love him? to go somewhere. So could we drive to Mississippi? It's a twenty-hour drive. You think we could drive there in one day and then stay the day and then turn around and come back? Uh, that's a long drive. Would kill us. Oh, yeah. Donna says Don Knotts movies. Reluctant astronaut goes to Mr. Chicken. Apple Oh, again. we should watch the Ghost of Mr. Chicken. I have never seen that one. Oh, it's so funny. I love it. I saw. What is the one where he's a fish? Yeah, that was good too. Oh, um, I love Don Knotts. Mr. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, Dear Santa is good too, Diana. You're right. So we need to have a movie show. Explosion Bell. I have no idea what that is. Noah's Ark, 1962. Oh, Explosion Bell, Taco Bell, yes, yes. Oh, exp <laughs> I get it. I'm a little slow. Yes, I Taco Bell, it. chicken taco salad is my guilty pleasure. Oh, I see. See, for me, I really like the steaks off tacos, but I'll also sometimes get like um, ta regular tacos with the fresco, which is no cheese, but it has a lot of salsa mm -hmm. on it, which is yummy. Yeah, thank Mr. you. Mr. Limpet, too. thank you, Cher. Yeah. It was going to drive me crazy. And Coco Noel. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry, for the shout out. Look at Sherry and Daryl, they just love us. We love them. Alderman Farms says, ah, oh, John Burbridge, right? A five gallon bucket of food, but it's okay. I get a Diet Thank Coke. Oh man, that's, yeah, Diet Coke. That really helps, doesn't it? Yeah. So Alderman Farms, put your link in the description below. So you guys need to go check out Alderman Farms. They are wonderful. We love them. Go check out Deep South Homestead. We love them. Go check out Two Family Homestead. We love them. Yep. Guys, put your links in. If I'm, if I'm calling you out, is Deep South a moderator? Let them be a moderator if we're not. Uh, and check out Jamie's. Boom. Love You More Soaps. Yeah, Mike just made you guys a moderator, Wanda and uh, Danny. Um, those are some of our favorite people on YouTube. We love you guys so much. We oh need to make a Living on a Dime Southern tour. Sandra's Home Spun Life, one of my favorite movies is Tyler Perry's Diary of a Mad Black Woman. We'll have to see that. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, I, I was thinking, just imagine. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we, uh, what is the movie? Last Holiday. Oh, we love Last, Last Holiday. Last Holiday is amazing. I oh, she is so is. funny. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Latifah. We've seen her in she's so many hilarious. movies. We just love her. She's awesome. I wish she did more movies. <laughs> Has she not? Maybe we just haven't seen them all. I don't know. Maybe we just need to look her up more because the couple that we've seen is really funny. Uh, retired and prepping. All that heaven allows with Jane Wyman. Rock Hudson is great. I watched it a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Let's see. Uh, 
African Queen. I don't know you. I don't think Tar would like African Queen. I've seen it. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Put your movies in the description below if you guys are watching on YouTube, so we can get some more because. Yeah, we could. We yeah. like a lot of the Hallmark movies. Yeah. Which, um. Hmm. Thank you, Faith Rudos, for the recommendation. She says she had the same flu symptoms and you got clear lungs by Ridgecrest and chest all honey. I don't huh. know what those are, but we'll have to check them out. Uh, yeah, I'm getting into homeopathics. I don't know. I'm just getting into it. Yeah. Cheaper by the dozen and bells yeah. on their toes. Yeah, those are good. We've seen those. Uh, what was the Cary Grant movie in which he's a captain drunk in the jungle and there was a there were kids and a nun? In oh, his. yeah. I don't remember. We saw that one, though. I remember that. That was a good one. I was thinking of a different one, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, um, today ooh. it was wonderful in Texas. 75, 75 and dry. dry. It was here, too. It's supposed to be 80 in two days. This is just not hey, right. Jonathan from Florida Singularity is on. Hey, he Jonathan. says Some Like It Hot is really good, which is Marilyn Monroe. Oh, really? We didn't see that one. Huh? I mean, I saw it when I was a kid, but I haven't seen it since then, so we'll have to check oh, it out. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have 800 pages to go through comments to see all the movies we need to see. Well, I'm kind of trying to save bulk, like, pages of comments just so we can go through and see what we might have missed. Uh, oh, I saw somebody say I was a new fan in Colorado, and I don't see who. Well, hello, whoever you are. Thank you for joining us. I would, um, oh, Nicole's Home Detail. Thank you. Hello. Well, glad to have you here. Okay, guys, we're going to go watch Two Family Homestead tonight. Bandana Grandma, head over to her channel. Head over to Alderman Farms. Head over to Deep South. Head over to Jamie. Okay. Love you more. Darling says all the pirate movies are going to be like pirate movies, too. But there was a newer one. Was it Cutthroat Island? We loved Cutthroat yeah, Island. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yep, that was good. All right. Anyway, sorry, I don't mean to keep everybody on longer. Because, you know, Mike. Mr. Bean, oh yeah. Oh, we love Mr. Bean. He's so funny. <laughs> you right. know, maybe we should do a show and just see how long we can go for the show. Uh, how many hours can we go for the show? I, if it requires talking, Mike could probably go a long time, even with a bad voice. Should we do that, guys? Tell me if we should do a show where we just see how long we can go. Man, <laughs> what could I cook for eight hours? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Should we do it by the fire pit so that we can sit down at least in a comfortable chair? Yeah, that would be cool. That would be actually really nice. Tara wanted to have a fire pit show the other day, and... Uh, I just said nope. Well, no, I just said, how would we get it set up out there? But then after that, I realized we probably could. All right, guys, so. don't forget our Dining on a Dime sale ends tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever Mike gets up to take it off. Dining on a Dime, free shipping, free menus on a dime, ebook. Tracy yes. is asking, how do you order if not using dollars as money I use pounds? If you go to buy, um, when you go to our shopping cart, it'll take you to PayPal. And if you order in pounds, it'll just translate it. It'll convert it. Yeah. So that, that's fine. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. We will see you later. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be back on Wednesday. I have no idea what I'm making as usual. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. Jack wants to carve pumpkins. So I'm making roasted pumpkin seeds. When? Wednesday? Wednesday. When are we so, carving them? Well, here's the problem. All the carving stuff is in the attic. And the problem is... Dave is the one that goes up there and Dave's down for the count. Well, not only that, BJ's car is all torn apart in there. And I don't know how we're going to get the ladder in the garage to get up to the attic. Oh, uh, we can work it out. I'll so I may BJ have to actually go pay full price for a pumpkin carving thing. Because I'm not going to have Jack use a knife. And well, he wants to do it. So Getting a lot more movie suggestions. I hope we catch them all. All right. Well, oh, Becky went... Oh, never mind. We'll ask later. Okay, because we're trying to go, aren't we? We're trying. All right, I'm sorry. Mike's trying to make the show last longer. <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you Please later. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Why are you laughing at me, woman? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Uh, you know, okay, are, is it, are we still on here? It's still on. Okay, so I have something funny to say. I remember when we first met. I and your sweet thing. And... <laughs> Mike and I would talk on the phone for hours and hours, and I just thought, oh, this is so nice to just have somebody to talk to all the time. <laughs> and now I'm like, yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear.
Hey now. <laughs> I love you. I go play video games with the boys now. You do. <laughs> yes, him and the boys play video games and mom <coughs> edits soap videos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>